This is Twit. Don't miss all about Android every week. We talk about the latest news, hardware, apps, and now all the developer goodness happening in the Android ecosystem. I'm Jason Howell, also joined by Ron Richards, Florence Ion, and our newest co-host on the panel, Wen Tu Dao, who brings her developer chops. Really great stuff. We also invite people from all over the Android ecosystem to talk about this mobile platform we love so much. Join us every Tuesday, all about Android on twit.tv. And if anything, we love, 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 love prototypes uh, in, the, in the vast history of Android. Um, and this time we've not got one but two for you tonight for to celebrate episode 602. Um, <laughs> the first one was a prototype version of the Pixel 2 was actually shared on Twitter last week. Um, and looking at it, by all accounts, it looks like a retail Pixel 2. But the 8 meg megapixel front camera was replaced by an IR filtered front camera. And also an IR ED and cutout on the other side. And the camera app has an IR view, but the phone also includes an app called Iris Demo that allows for registering both irises of a user's eyes for iris scanning security. So way back at the Pixel 2 in prototypes, they were looking at iris scanning for security, which is crazy. Um, and this is actually the same year as this device, Samsung released the Galaxy S Plus with iris scanning security uh, on board with it. So they somewhat keeping up with the Joneses to a certain degree, but never, never made it out to the real world, uh, which is interesting. So yeah, the S8. That. Sorry, that was my typo. It was the Galaxy oh. S8, and if you remember S8. that year, they had the uh, yeah, they had the iris scanning. The following year, Samsung uh, coupled the iris scanning with the face scanning, so it was like a trusted face or right. something like uh, along those lines. And so they were all kind of apparently working on this. I'm sure Google has a million different prototypes with a million different ideas uh, for yeah. each of their phones, but. Um, you know, they even had it. I mean, look at that app. Isn't that an amazing working. app? Look at that. So cool. Look at that. Jason, it, it kind of looks like you. That kind of looks like you in that, in that shot <laughs> for audio listeners. It's a, it's an outline of a person's face and, uh, with the eyes filled in where you can verify the iris reading and yeah, there oh, you it's go. hard. To, um, oh yeah. Yeah. You're right. So it does look it like it does. Me. Doesn't it? It does. It lines up. So, um, so that was a little <laughs> pixel two prototype goodness, but my favorite of all these prototypes was uh, the good Android co-founder, uh, Rich Miner, uh, shared some early prototype images of my favorite, my first Android phone, the Google G1. Um, it still had a similar slider to the T-Mobile G1, which is the one was my first Android phone. Uh, but the keyboard is bright green with green accents, uh, and those green accents thing. make their way throughout the entire device. Um, th this is so cool. I love it. It looks, like, it looks, like, it looks very European, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> I love the color. Then, it's awesome. Yeah. And so for those are audio listeners, the, the keyboard, uh, Bert just moved away. So I can't describe Okay. There we go. For our audio listeners, the, <laughs> the keyboard underneath the screen is like a bright green. And then all the little physical buttons have green accents around it. And it also had a, uh, con uh a circular ring for di directional movement, like a D pad almost in the upper right hand corner. Um, when it's held horizontal. Um, it had a Google logo in the upper left-hand corner. Um, and basically everything looks very different than the G1 that actually released. Yeah. And as much as I love my T-Mobile G1, I would have loved this phone. This phone looks awesome. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. This, yeah this, uh, honestly, between the two uh, designs, if you scroll down just a little bit further in that article, you'll see the... Uh, the standard G1 that was released. And, yeah. you know, while Which at is, the time it was, it was a cool looking phone, you compare these two and I mean, I feel like it's no question. Why don't, why don't you go for that other design? That thing is, yeah, that I mean, thing is it, sexy. It looks, it looks very, <laughs> it looks both very European, but it also looks like, um, what are those kitchen, you like OXO kitchen oh, utensils OXO. Yeah, you get, exactly. yeah, right? Like yes. it's, it's got a little totally. bit of the, like the, the, the dark, with a bright color rubberized kind of thing around it that that's working for it. Well, so. you know, and I, what's also striking me is when I look at the, the traditional G one, it has, you know, it's a very plasticky surround around the display. Honestly, this prototype looks very modern by comparison, like the display the itself, the curved edges, yeah. the curved edges. There is no like, um, plastic surround around the display, you know, encasing the display in. It's just the display is edge to edge, or at least the glass is, or I don't know if that's glass or plastic. It was probably plastic at that time. But um, still, you know, it's kind of, yeah, that's a nice looking 
phone yeah. for that time. I would buy that phone today. I, I would totally buy totally. that phone today. Yeah. yeah. And I and I look at it all extended with the keyboard showing and I just think about how satisfying that phone was to click oh. open. Like, well, here's mm -hmm. the here's the thing. Here's the thing that not only does that phone prototype look like it'd be satisfying to click open, but if it looks like and I'm conjecture here, but it doesn't look like there are physical buttons like there was on the original G1. It looks like yeah. almost like a rubberized layer on top that would push buttons, which honestly feels like it would be very satisfying to push those buttons in, right? Yeah, if those yeah. if those are like, you know, the, you know, that kind of like clicky kind of rubbery keyboard kind of feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It totally looks like that. It has Good a touch little feel. snap. Little, yeah. little snap, a little. I yeah, like it. I would get that phone today. Make it work today. I'll do it. This phone looked a lot looks a lot nicer than the uh, Motorola Droid. That's all I'm saying. That was a that was an angular phone. <laughs> that was a very angular <laughs> phone, very <laughs> ugly yeah. phone. I'm uh, I'm listening finally listening to uh, Chet Haas's book Androids. I don't know why it's taken me this long uh, on audio on um, on Audible, and uh, they you know they they talk a little bit about the Motorola Droid in there about how. How no one on the Android team believed that, that was the final design until they realized, nope, yep, that's that's the final design. That that's it. angular, weird looking, ugly thing is gonna take on the iPhone. Sure enough, I mean, hey, Verizon had a really great uh, marketing campaign around it, so it did all right. But uh, maybe it did all right in spite of itself. <laughs> it was my it was my first Android phone.